طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, of course today's discussion is going to be short uh, to uh, to go for uh, the quiz um, so the last topic for chapter 9 uh, is uh, subnetting in ipv6 uh, and as we said before uh, there are two <coughs> things that we need to Uh, uh, to pay extra attention to when it comes to subnetting for IPv6. The first is, the, is that uh, uh, for IPv6, we use the Hexted... Oh, okay. So we use the colon Hexted format as opposed to Um, the colon hexted format as opposed to the dotted decimal notation, right? Um, uh, so we need to pay attention to this. Uh, we need to also pay attention to the fact that we, we try to abbreviate IPv6, so we omit leading zeros, we use the compressed version based on consecutive zero hexteds and so on. Um, the second thing, which is more important, which is the fact that In IPv6, we do not have broadcast addresses. We do not have broadcast uh, 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 in, in general. So if, if, the, uh, if the interface ID part is all Fs, that's a valid interface IP address. It's not a broadcast address. So, so in this exercise, we are requested to uh, subnet this network address. And obviously... Sorry. Uh, if we have an address that looks like this, I don't even have to tell you whether this is a network address or interface address, uh, but obviously it is a, uh, a network address. Why? Because this is, uh, these are three hex states, and three hex states constitute uh, 48 uh, 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 bits. So if we have 48 bits and the rest is uh, for the interface ID, so the interface ID is all zeros. If the interface ID is all zeros, then by default this is a network address. So now we, are, we have a network which has this prefix, and we are requested to subnet this uh, uh, network uh, using 20 bits of subnets, of subnet number. Okay? Uh, so how many, uh, how many subnets do we have? How many subnets we'll end up having? Hmm? Two to the power? 20 different subnets. Uh, it's not, it's supposed to be very straightforward. Um, so uh, you have two to the power 20 subnets. So uh, that's very intensive. So if I ask you to write down all the subnetwork addresses for all these subnets and calculate the, the first address and last address of all of them, I mean, good luck, you will spend uh, maybe a week or so, <clears throat> okay? Uh, but, of course, we're not going to do that now. We are going to just calculate a few of them, and the rest are going to be easy uh, based on uh, the calculation that we will do together. So, if, if, we, uh, if we try to visualize that address, so this address obviously is a is in the global unicast range. Uh, based on uh, chapter 8, uh, the 2001 uh, is obviously in the range of global unicast, which is the routable IPv6 address. So this address looks like this. So if you have uh, 2001, and then, of course, I will omit the leading zero. So it's D, and then B8, and then colon, and then A, C, A, D, and then uh, the rest. Of course, the rest is all zeros, okay? So from this, we are requested to subnet. And the subnet here is 20 bits. That's, that's a little bit annoying, because we know that one hexit is, in fact, 16 bits. So the subnet will occupy one full hexadecimal and one hexadecimal digit here, okay? And the rest is going to be for, for the interface ID, okay? So here we have 
uh, one, two, three, four, and then we have another three hexits. Okay, so we'll end up having eight different hexits. Okay, so this is the this is the interface ID part, and this is the subnet part, and the rest is so. Just for privacy, so, so to abbreviate and to, to, to make the calculations a little bit fast, we will substitute this with X. So whenever I say X, so this means the prefix. Okay, so whatever this prefix is. Okay, so now we are requested to calculate all the subnetwork addresses uh, for all the 2 to, to the power 20 different subnets. Okay, so... If we, uh, so if we try to calculate the subnet, the subnetwork addresses first, okay, so we'll have x, and the x here is all these three hexits, and of course, the first subnet will start with 0, 0, 0, 0, and then here is a, this is the first subnet, right? And, and then the last one, is gonna have all Fs in the subnet. These are hexadecimal digits, huh? These are not uh, uh, binary, these are hexadecimal digits. Okay, so when we have the subnetwork part is all zeros, and of course, for the subnetwork address, we have the interface ID part all zeros. So this is in fact, column column, right? What is the, what is the prefix here? So column, column, slash what? Hmm? Uh, huh? 64? 60? 63? It's, it's, where did you get the 64 from? Huh? Ah, and yani you came up with the number, kere, yani, which, uh, not based on uh, what is slash what now? The original, the original network is has slash what? Slash a. The original network has slash forty-eight. We are required to subnet this network further, okay, using twenty bits. So the 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 new subnetwork addresses will have slash a. Huh? 68. 68. Slash 68. Which is here. Okay. So after we subnet it, the new prefix is going to have, the, bu the new prefix length is going to be 68. Okay. Type. The second, the second subnet will be X. And then here is going to be all zeros. But here is going to be A. This is the second, yeah, the second one. So here is gonna be, it's gonna have one, one hexadecimal. Huh? So it will be zero, and then one, okay, and what in hmm? three zeros, bravo, Alik, yes, and then three zeros, and then. Column, column. The three zeros here are for this. Why can't I remove these zeros? These are not leading zeros. These are, not yeah, not leading zeros. These, these zeros come after the one, not before it. If it's before it, I can remove it. I can omit the leading zeros. But these three zeros are after the one, so I cannot remove them. Okay? So this will be x dot uh, column zero, column one zero zero zero, column, column back for to account for all the remaining interface ID, and this will be also a slash 60. Okay? So then the, 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 the third one is going to be a 0, 1, and then 2, okay? All the way until F, okay? And then if I add, if I add 1 to the F, it will become 0, and the, here it will be 1. So the 1 will, 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 will go to the next digit. Okay? So... Um, so, for example, for this one, the, 
the network address, so we have some some addresses in between. So we, this will will be x and then zero and then zero. So I can omit the leading zeros in that case. So it will be one colon colon slash sixteen. So this is the one number seventeen. <clears throat> so this is the subnetwork address for subnet number seventeen. واضح? Okay. So if I keep doing this until the end, uh, the subnetworks will have F, 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 right? So this is the last, the very last subnetwork address. So this is will this will be X, and then column, and then F, 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 and then F, huh? Zeros, and then column, column slash sixty. Okay. Anyone who's not following. This is the subnetwork address. If you don't get this, then alas, yeah, the first and last usable addresses are going to be lost for you. So this, these are all the subnetwork addresses. Of course, we didn't try them all because they, they are you know, 2 to the power 20 subnetwork addresses. So we cannot try them all. But this is, this is the approach. This is the approach, how we can calculate all the subnetwork addresses. Type. Uh -huh. huh? Why is this slash 64? Why it is... Slash 64. It's actually not slash 64, it's slash 68. Yes. Because we said, because we said that the, the, the original network has three hexits. Three times 16 is 48. And we are required to subnet this network using 20 bits. So 20 plus 48, 60. Okay. Type. The first, the first bad interface address is when you get the uh, uh, the interface part, and you put here one in the rightmost digit. So, so the address will be x colon colon hmm? one. Exactly. That's it. So this is the first, the first usable address in the subnetwork uh, 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 zero, in subnetwork number zero. Okay, what is the last one? The last one there is when you put x and then and then column. Hmm. Zero. Eh? Zero. But and then. One. لا, لا. No. This is the last, the last one, the last one in this subnetwork. The last one is when you put the all the interface ID all Fs. Okay, all Fs, huh? All Fs is a valid interface ID. Zero, zero, huh? Where do you get seven from? Why seven? لا هو انت متلخبط this is these are hexadecimal digits not decimal huh? these are hexadecimal digits so the last the last interface address in when, is when we put the f f f here and then f f all the way right but remember this hexadecimal digit is for the subnetwork address and this is already zero right so if we omit this leading zero it will be only Three Fs, only three Fs, not four. Here, hmm? <laughs> this is the confusion. But. And then, all Fs. Four Fs, but, huh? Yeah, all of all the way to the end. Okay? So we have five hexits, all Fs. Okay? Ah uh, yes, you're right. If you, uh, the, there's here, there's zero here. Yes, there's zero here. Yes, you're perfectly right. So there is zero here. Right. Yes. To account for this zero, so this zero it belongs to the subnetwork address. Yes, yes, I I like when people are focusing. Yes, that's good. Okay, tight. So the second uh, 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 the second subnetwork. Okay. We have x, and then 
colon zero colon we have zero. one zero zero zero. zero. Mm -hmm. All zeros except the last one. All zeros except the last so it's colon colon oh. one. Okay. <laughs> so it's getting trickier and trickier, right? Then the last one will be X and then colon zero. Colon, huh? This one. is one. One or less. One, one and then F, 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 three Fs, then and less. then all Fs. Yeah. All the way to the end. Okay? Okay. So for, for let, let's try for this one. For this one, it will be X and then colon. Here we have one, it will remain the same. And then colon. Hmm. Again. Eh? This would be a column again. La la la. This is this is the first one. Yes, this is the first one. So we have we have zeros here, and we have zeros here. So it's, it's a column column. You're perfectly right. Column column. Eh? One. Right. So this is the first address. And the last one will be x, and then column column one, column, and then huh? three f's, and then all f's. Okay. Okay. Type. The, the very last uh, subnetwork address is here. The first address for this subnetwork is X and then colon colon. Huh? F, 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 colon. F, huh? Zero, 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 colon, colon, one. Okay. And the last one is a X and then uh, 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 F, 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 F. This is for the subnetwork. And then F. This is the last subnetwork. And then the remaining part is for interface ID, which is also all F. So it will be F, 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 and then column O. Okay. Uh, so any, any questions for this calculation? Don, of course, in the exam, I, can, I cannot ask you to write them all. Uh, so you, I, I can myself ask you to, uh, 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 to derive the addresses for one of the subnets, and I select one specific subnet and ask you to calculate the network address, subnetwork, the, sorry, the first usable interface address and the last usable interface address. Okay? Uh, any, any questions? So this is the end of, uh, of chapter uh, 9. Chapter 8 and, ch and chapter 9 are by far the most important part of the course. Uh, so that's why we uh, uh, give you lots of chances to uh, practice addressing and subnetting. Uh, so uh, I will post today uh, the assignment, the only assignment in the course, which will focus on subnetting and addressing on chapter 8 and chapter 9. So you will be requested to drive calculations and plan the addressing and the subnetting for a given network. So you will be given a network and you will be asked to uh, uh, calculate the, address, the addresses for all the subnetworks based on certain constraints. So you need to really, really practice a lot. Um, I, have, I have some really messages from the uh, lecturers and lab instructors that they are noticing that people are not that rigorous in, the, in, in calculating the addressing on the subnet. So you need to really practice. A uh, good percentage of the exam is going to be on this. Uh, uh, Allahumma ballak, Allahumma Okay.